Welcome to the Drivepedia, where we bring you the latest and greatest in the world of automobiles. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the 2025 Porsche Taycan 4S Sports Turismo, a car that's not just a vehicle, but a statement. At first glance, the Taycan might look mostly the same as its predecessors, but don't let that fool you. Porsche has given this grand touring sports car an extensive re-engineering. Minor changes to the front fender's new HD matrix LED headlights with 32,000 individual pixels and subtle updates to the front bumper, headlamps, fenders, and taillights give it a fresh, modern look. Um, the Cross Turismo lineup aligns with the regular Taycans, except that there's no rear-wheel drive model and prices for the wagon are slightly more expensive than the sedan. We'd recommend the Cross Turismo 4S model as a relatively sensible point in the power VS price of Christ equation. As with all models, it comes standard with all-wheel drive and an adjustable air suspension. Porsche added a long list of features to the standard equipment list for 2025. We'd also recommend taking advantage of the Porsche Experience Center for an extra, albeit worth it, sum. There you'll have the opportunity to exercise your car on a track and improve your fundamental driving skills. Another change, unfortunately, the Sport Turismo GTS, the lowered max handling version, is Mia in the current 2025 roster sheet, and Porsche won't confirm or deny if it will make a return to the U.S lineup. Inside, the Taycan is a blend of luxury and technology. A dashboard full of display screens provides easy access to pertinent info for the driver and front passenger, including reconfigurable gauges and a relatively intuitive infotainment system. Depending on how the car is equipped, it can be fairly spartan or downright luxurious with a seemingly endless array of personalization options. But the Taycan isn't just about looks. Under the hood, Porsche has made some significant upgrades. The Taycan's battery and charging have been improved, meaning you can drive even farther on a charge. We managed to charge our test car from 8 to 80% in just under 17 minutes with a peak charging rate of 327 kilowatts. The Taycan Cross Turismo shares its chassis and numerous other components with its sedan counterpart, but is offered solely with all-wheel drive. The two-motor setup with a two-speed rear transmission on the rear axle remains, but the rear motor is a new unit that is said to be lighter and more efficient than the previous one. The new 2025 Cross Turismo Turbo S gets a 10 HP bump to 764 horsepower. A new push to pass function included with the available Sport Chrono package dials up an additional 93 horsepower for a total of 857 for up to 10 seconds launch control mode enables a max power function that delivers a peak output of 938 horsepower for several seconds. Moreover, unlike normal EVs which get slower as their battery charge depletes, the Taycan provides consistent performance. Our first drive of the 2025 Taycan lineup revealed similarly engaging handling as before, with the newly available active suspension option providing a particularly smooth ride and minimal body roll. And let's not forget about performance. The Taycan blends effortless acceleration with sports car sharp reflexes. This year, the most powerful model packs up to 1,019 horsepower. And despite all these upgrades, the Taycan remains the most crisp responding and dynamically satisfying EV drive. The 2025 Porsche Taycan 4 S Sports Turismo is more than just a car. It's a testament to Porsche's commitment to innovation and performance. It's a car that's ready to take on the future. And we can't wait to see where it takes us. That's all for today's episode of the Drivepedia. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more automotive news and reviews. Until next time, keep driving. Thank you for watching.